packaging and branding mm. uh, are said to be an issue yeah. when it comes to uh, our products being able to compete. Mm. How, can, how can your organization help exporters deal with this? How are you that's, helping them deal that's with what this? We're, that's what we're doing. We have uh, various developmental stages that we take companies through. Because not every company, and I tell them, not every company is export ready. Not every company is export ready. Uh, so you, in order for you to, to get your goods, uh, get it, your packaging must be nice. Uh, it must be visible. The color must be sharp. It must be presentable. Then, uh, uh, apart from meet, meeting all the various standards, for instance, if it's agricultural produce and uh, uh, food, you must meet NAVDAC uh, qualifications, uh, standards organization of Nigeria. You must meet all their qualifications in order, because many of these countries have various standards. They don't let, and they vary country to country. And you're labeling. For instance, you want to take goods to Franco from uh, West Africa. If they're labeled in English, it's a big competition for you for that product to sell. So we take you through all that. Uh, we recently started, uh, well, over three years ago, what we call our Zero to Export program, which is to take you through the rudiments of export. And this is mainly targeted at SMEs and MSMEs because the big companies already, because they're international and global, they meet all the standards already. So their goods go. It tell me, what specific export incentives are in place for SMEs and MSMEs? We're basically an incentive agency, but the, the incentive we've concentrated so much on has been on the post-shipment incentive, which is what we call our export expansion grant, meaning that we leave you as a company, go and do everything, just export. Then when you have exported and you've remitted your funds back to to, to through CBN to Nigeria, then you come back to us and we give you that grant. Uh, that is to assist you because we know our roads are not too good. Uh, we don't have rail to move your products. We don't have all this. We have all these challenges. Power is uh, really uh, the major uh, obstacle to this. So we give you that incentive. Now, but the SMEs, M MSMEs, they are the handicap because they can't even get to that barrier. But we have another incentive, which is called the pre-shipment incentive, and it's captured under what we call our Export Development Fund. And now, for the first time, that had never been activated because we just concentrated on the EEG aspect, the post-shipment. But now, we now have the EDF. Government is going to fund it, and we're going to have money to help uh, SMEs, MSMEs, in areas of, we just mentioned, packaging, uh, labeling, uh, meeting standards, storage facilities, uh, uh, logistics, you know, just taking them through the whole, uh, uh, the, the whole chain of, of, of export and uh, particularly developing uh, uh, training and developing uh, human capital, which is very key. Like I said, not everybody uh, is an exporter. Of all the things I mentioned, um, what is the biggest challenge that exporters face and how are you helping them? These interest rates are just too high to drive uh, 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 development and industrial growth. That's the first thing they will complain about, uh, uh, access to finance. The next thing they will complain about is power. And that's the next big thing. Yeah, but husband. those are the things, yeah. But those are the big things that government is set to tackle. Where do we, as, as a country, have comparative advantage? We looked at it across the whole you know, the, the old world and what does Nigeria have? What can Nigeria take to the world to replace or to sell? And we had three criteria for uh, picking these uh, products. First was the size of the product traded internationally and globally. We, are for, we have two categories, A and B. For category A products, we are looking at uh, products worth not less than $20 billion annually and globally. So in that, we picked 11 products. Products are, we looked at petrochemicals and methanol. That is trading $150 billion. Nigeria is not there because we're important. And yet we're a petrol economy. That's one of the saddest stories in, in, in the world. Anywhere you'll get. Uh, soya beans, uh, meal and oil, 
uh, trading about $100 billion. Then we have sugar, uh, raw cane and confectionery, uh, cotton and yarn, uh, nitrogenous uh, fertilizer and ammonia, palm oil, and other sad story. Now, on the category A products, I told you the first category, how it's trading internationally. The two, the degree of complexity involved in operating in that sector. And three, uh, is Nigeria's own comparative advantage. So you can see these 11 products are listed. That's our own comparative advantage. Uh, they, 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 and out of those 11 products, nine of them are agricultural products. So you can see that the next big thing for Nigeria, indeed, that this government has been shouting about, is a Greek. It's a Greek. Then we have the category B. Those are the ones trading less than uh, 20 uh, billion dollars annually uh, globally and now in those sectors we picked cement and clinkers for obvious reasons tomato banana and plantain oranges uh, cashew uh, cassava sesame spices shea butter and cowpea when i'm mentioning all this you know that that's where nigeria has comparative advantage in many of these agricultural products were between number one and seven in the whole world in producing them. So we say that is the way forward. And under the Nigerian Industrial Revolution Plan, when you look at what we achieved with cement, a couple of years ago, Nigeria was a net importer of cement. Uh, you've talked with Aliko Dangote many times on this. And now, for the first time last year, we exported cement. So Nigeria is no longer importing cement. So it's the same thing government is trying to do with rice. For the number one import item in Ghana is rice and they import from Vietnam, they import from uh, 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 Taiwan, they import from all over the world. And why can they not import that just next door from Nigeria? 